Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 in our European Journeyman Series at Bayer Leverkusen right at the start of our second full season at the club. Last time out we got through a few transfers but we also lost the DFL Super Cup match against Borussia Mönchengladbach. They beat us one goal to nil in a very frustrating game that was very reminiscent of the DFB Pakal final from last year. So I'm hoping that we'll get a better start this time. We've got a take on Spielberg in the first round of the DFB Pokal and then we'll have a huge match against Juventus looking to win only our second ever UEFA Super Cup um, so hopefully we'll be able to do that there is a little bit more transfer news to tell you about nobody has left but we have brought one player in and that man is Ahmad El Saeed uh, he has joined from Barcelona he's a good centre back not going to set the world alight but he's had a good time um, on occasion um, and I think that his stats are well suited to our system and he will be able to do a job in uh, defence because he is already better than Rukas and Shield. And given we have three centre-back positions to fill, we do need to make sure we have enough players in that area. I'm also working on bringing Eti Dejalo in, who is currently playing in China, but he's a very good player who I've tracked for a while. Um, I tried to sign him before he moved to Barcelona, but wasn't able to, and you can see his record is very good. So I think that he will be a great player if we can bring him in just to strengthen up our midfield. So that's the transfer business. That would allow me to bring in the attacking player, the midfield player, the centre-back and the goalkeeper that I was after because we already brought in Janssen and Nezovic last time out. So hopefully we'll be able to get a better result against Spielberg than we had recently. Um, I put out a full strength team, no chances being taken. I want to get our first win of the season. Early in this match, it's Traub sending the ball forward to Betty from the free kick. Miklachak tries to head that ball into the centre, but nobody up there. So then cleared down the field, Henriks with a big header, Janssen picks it up, beats the defender, two in the middle, three in the middle now, he puts it in, Naktigal there puts it wide of the post and that finishing is the thing that annoys me every time. Aslan sends the ball in from the throw, he gets it back, they're looking to build through the middle, we've still not taken the lead in this game which is a bit concerning, although Betty has won the ball here, he finds Naktigal. Ball put across to Havertz, into Braga, pass on there, he's just cut out before it could reach Naktigal. Goalkeeper sends it forward, but it's back with Betty after Havertz won the header. Trying to play through the middle again, as we do most of the time. Mikola Chak, over to Betty. He's looking to create room, it's on to Havertz. Janssen to Henriks, puts the ball across, Mikulacek, first time volley, hard and low into the bottom corner and we have scored our first goal of the season and taken the lead. Mikulacek with the throw into El Saeed, it's sent to Betty, edge of the area across to Henriks and he's hit the woodwork so close to a second goal. Corner from Janssen, put in towards the back stick, headed away, Natsgal brings it down, puts it over and it's headed out. Betty. Over to Janssen, creating a lot of opportunities and highlights now. Mikulacek through to Naktigal, on to Braga. He sends it over to Janssen, ball out wide to Henriks, put it inside and Naktigal is there for his first of the season to make it 2-0. Henriks with the throw in, on to Rukas, forward to Naktigal. I feel like the floodgates might be opening now. It's Mikulacek, ball comes to Naktigal again who loses it, Betty. Nobody able to keep possession. It's cleared away. El Saeed has it. Over to Traub. Betty into Havertz. And that's going on to Braga. Now Janssen. Not seeing a lot from him today, but Henrik's in a good position. Puts it across and Braga has a tap in from two yards to make it 3-0. Henrik's wins the ball. Players in the middle. Betty. Looking for somebody to make a run, but he goes himself. He beat a defender, and that shot was not far away. Corner taken by Janssen, looking for Traub. Down to Betty, and he drives it hard and low into that bottom corner. Naktigal, forward to Malerba. Just 10 minutes left in this game. Janssen onto Henriks. He's in the area, and he gets the goal that he very much deserves. He's already had a hat-trick of assists today, and he caps it off with a goal. Undoubtedly the player of the match, and he's made it 5-0. The icing on top of the cake there. Spielberg without a single shot in this game, showing our total 
domination as you would expect and it sets us up well after defeating our first competitive game of the season we now have a win and we'll be able to go to that super cup match against juventus full of confidence just 15 seconds left to see out in this game not that they're going to pose any risk here spielberg and nezovic will get his first clean sheet at the club there should be the full-time whistle there it is five nil a good win probably should have had more goals than five but that is getting a little bit greedy um, and we will go through to the second round of this competition well we have managed to complete the signing of Etty Dejalo. he's joined the club um, very cheaply really just 15 million pounds is automatically valued at 24 and he'll be able to slot straight into midfield for this game against Juventus the rest of the team looking pretty familiar as well Bernardo Silva is going to make his first appearance since that horrific leg break way back in January um, it's taken him months to recover but he is now back in the first team he's going to be joining Braga and Janssen um, in the front three with Betty and Dejalo now the midfield partnership Mikulacak is still at left wing back with Henriks at right wing back and then El Saeed, Traub and Rukas are all in the centre back positions with Nezovic in goal. It's one of the stronger teams that we could out there. We're going to see all four of our new signings playing in the team um, at the same time and I'm happy now with the size and strength of the squad for the rest of this season. Well we have kicked this game off and it's with Mikulacak back to El Saeed. Um, we're going to try and dominate this game in the same way that we did in the Champions League final. Juventus should not be as big of a challenge as Manchester City were. Um, they are the Europa League winners. They weren't in the Champions League. So hopefully that will play into our hands and we'll be able to dominate this game. But at the moment, it's Juventus having all of the shots. They've had three efforts, all three on target. But here's Braga with a free kick. He gets it over the wall and into the top corner. And just like that, Antero Braga... Gives us the lead in this European Super Cup final and we can definitely start planning ahead, at trying to build up a bit of a buffer now over Juventus. Another goal in this first half would make me very, very happy. Um, here is a corner taken by Betty towards the middle but Stamenkovic comes out to claim it. Um, Juventus weren't really our big challengers in Italy, they had that sort of wobble but they still got players like Horta who we had at Benfica who's a very good player so they do have people who can change the game but Jarlo's just won the ball in a good position now Braga back to Jarlo Betty on to Bernardo Silva ball slipped into Mikulacak great position and he's found the bottom corner 2-0 we now lead and it could get worse for Juventus we are looking very good the team playing together very well and I'm happy to have Bernardo Silva back in the team now because his passing is phenomenal and up front he will create so many opportunities betty again winning the ball he's so good as an interceptor betty trying to push the pass forward he finds bernardo silva there's that ball over the top mikolacek is in behind again but this time he finds the side netting but that is what we had from bernardo silva for about 10 games after signing him before he got injured and i'm looking forward to him coming back and pulling the strings up front it's something that we do lack a little bit um, and hopefully with the finishing of jansen we will be able to really really cause teams problems up front this season um Second half kicking off, not the best reaction from the team to the halftime team talk, I have to say, but I wasn't going to spend too long worrying about that when we're 2-0 up. Now Braga has the ball again, he's found Bernardo Silva, he doesn't really have the pace anymore, but he's got Janssen with him, he takes it past the defender, it's saved, it comes to Betty, and he makes it 3-0, and Juventus are being absolutely swept aside from us, by us at the moment. 3-0 we now lead. And we've only won this competition once before, so this is the second time that we're trying to win it in this entire series, which is now into its 11th full season, which is a long time to have been going. Um, before I started doing YouTube, I never used to let saves go on this long, but I've been really enjoying this one, and every club we go to just seems so perfectly set up to us. Now here's Betty onto Janssen, sent all the way back to Rukas. Betty onto Janssen again, couldn't find Henrik there. Pellegrini puts it out, but Miklachak intercepts the ball. Betty on to Bernardo Silva. Back to El Said. He finds Jarlo. Braga to Janssen. Ball on to Henriks. He's got players at the back stick. He puts it across. It's come to Bernardo Silva. And on his return from injury, he cracks it into the top corner for 
4-0. A stunning finish from him. We have absolutely turned on the style against Juventus today. Um, and are really in such a good position. Bernardo Silva can definitely have a bit of a break now. Enriquez can come on for Janssen as well. We'll leave it at that for now. Um, but at 4-0 up, we are surely going to take this competition home um, and get some silverware right at the start of this season. Uh, we've got the Club World Cup to look forward to as well as Champions League winners. And then with the DFB, Pakal, Champions League and Bundesliga still to go, there's no reason why we couldn't win five competitions this year if the team play at their best. And based on today's evidence, they certainly will. Here's Nezovic out to Rukas. He finds Betty. Enriquez. Over to Betty again. Ball on to Miklachak. There's a run being made in the middle. Instead, he checks back. Braga. All the way back to Betty. Maleba. Miklachak loses possession in a dangerous area. Horter out to Vaz. He's running down the right side. I think Vaz might be a former player of Vaz from um, Benfica as well. But here's Moran. On to Rain Adelaide. Still playing football. Sends it out to Vaz again. It's going to be a swung in cross and Nezovic caught in no man's land there. And Moran able to just nod it home for 4-1. Poor from Nezovic there. He was prone to mistakes before. Um, but I still think he will be a big step up on Bern Leno. Uh, who's the 35 and would have been 36 this season. Um, he is still on the bench if we need him. But at the moment I think Nezovic is more than good enough to come in. But here come Juventus again. This game is not yet won. It's Quadrini who loses out to Betty Enriquez. Into Betty, Braga onto Malerba, out to Mikolacek. He's then tackled, and Horta can maybe lift one forward. Instead, he goes left to Rain Adelaide. Well won by Jarlo. Enriquez into Braga, onto Malerba, back to Mikolacek. He loses possession. We just can't keep the ball in that area. Quadrini over the top, Moran is in behind. And Nezovic makes a good start. That really could have opened up the last 10 minutes that they scored then. They still need three to force extra time. And at the moment, we're holding our own. Um, but Juventus reminding us why they're such a dangerous team. They're taking a long time over that corner, bearing in mind they need three goals. Um, but at the moment, still all really about us. And it should just be a procession, really, these last few minutes. Uh, hopefully not too many more highlights, but Braga's got one here. He sends it towards Trow, but the back stick, it's headed away. Rukas chasing after it. He pushes it over to Betty. Into Miklachak. Ball onto Malerba. He's tackled. Pasqual has it. Saeed has lost the ball in a dangerous area. Moran in on goal, and it's saved by Nezovic. But that's both Saeed and Nezovic who've made mistakes in this game. Um, both two of the new signings there. Horta with this corner. Five minutes left to go. Puts it in. Cleared away. Pasquale has it. Has a shot, but Nezovic with another good stop. He's starting to look a little bit better now. He's touched the ball a couple of times. Uh, really poor average rating from him. Henriks has picked up a knock, which is not good because we don't really have a backup right wing back. But Shield will have to do the job there for now. Um, into the last minute. We are going to win another piece of silverware. There's the full-time whistle. A 4-1 dispatching of Juventus. Certainly a very emphatic result. Um, and it means we do have another piece of silverware under our belt at the start of this season. Uh, winning £3.5 million pounds of playing in that game. Um, and we've already got a nice winner and runner-up uh, competition image on the front screen of the competitions area. These are the three that we really care about. I really want to win the DFB Pokal and retain the Bundesliga. The Champions League, after winning it last season, is a bit of a free hit for us. But if we have the chance to win it, I'm certainly going to want to do so. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think about the team that we've put together. I'm reasonably happy with it. I think it's the right size. Um, and it's got the right uh, makeup to it as well. I think the additions we brought in could have been a lot better. But bearing in mind that we did not have any real transfer budget. We certainly don't have any left. Um, but we have spent more than we than we sold, which we didn't manage to do last season. And the club's finances, even after that, those transfers, has £129 million in the bank, which is a huge 
huge amount of money. Um, and I can't believe they haven't given me more of a transfer budget. But that is going to be it for this episode. It has been another good one. Two more wins under our belt. Next time out, we'll take on Borussia Dortmund in the first Bundesliga game of the season before going away to Werder Bremen. Two games that we really need to be winning. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new and follow me on Twitter using the link in the description if you're on Twitter. But until next time, see ya!